Hey guys, summer has come in Florida. School is finished, so Hudson and I have two whole months of no school. Um, Asher's wrapping up with his homeschool for the summer, so man, we are excited. We have so many awesome plans to do these next couple months. The biggest being Morgan and Alyssa's wedding. It's coming up soon and we are just so excited. But um, for this vlog, and actually the next one, um, before we start showing you guys our adventures this summer, I wanted to show you some adventures we had back at the beginning of this year. So um, stay tuned, the next two episodes are going to be kind of a special recap of some fun adventures we had at the beginning of this year. Enjoy guys! Good morning! <coughs> Man, it's about 10 degrees out right now. We are here in Montana and we are just surrounded by miles and miles of beautiful snow covered mountains. It's incredible. Right now Hudson and I are up here in Montana hanging out with the Schroeders. Um, we came up here for about a week and yeah to just experience what it's like in America with the deep snow. And I'm telling you guys it's incredible. What an experience it's been so far. I mean, it's nothing, it's like nothing we've ever seen before. The snow is just covering every surface, even on the trees. Right now, the snow's kind of dry, so there's just like crystals everywhere. When the sun hits it, it sparkles. It's just so bright, so happy and beautiful. But, whew, it's freezing cold. Right now, I don't have my gloves on because I'm trying to work the camera. And man, it's starting to, it's starting to freeze off. It's just gorgeous this morning. Just super beautiful and super cold. It was it was down to five degrees last night or lower. And um, got up early this morning to come out and see the sun, sunrise. Oh, it was brutal. I had to run back inside. Thankfully in the yurt though, the fire's raging, keeping us nice and warm. Um, it's, it's super cool though. It kind of takes me back to today's living in the tribe um, because our house was totally off grid and um, what the Schroeders have done here with the yurt, it's kind of the same thing. They have solar panels, a big old battery system. Um, so very familiar to us, it's what we grew up with. Always checking the batteries, making sure that you're not running too many things at once so that you can serve your battery power. Um, but this morning the generator kicked on and uh, Uncle Dave and I just came up to check it. Everything's automatic, so although they do have solar panels and they rely on those for a lot of their power, they have a big backup generator that just automatically flips on as soon as the batteries get too low. Sweet system. Oh, it's just so pretty out here. This kind of this kind of scenery is very different than anything that he and I are familiar with, having grown up in the tropics. Although we did live in the highlands of Papua for many years, never saw snow, especially thick snow like this. Unbelievable. We're just soaking it in. It is very cold, but just just so beautiful. And it's been just a nice time to, to get away from the Bay for a little bit, a good vacation. You know, one thing that that our family has always considered pretty important is just to have time to get away, time to relax, uh, especially having lived overseas for many years. You know, there's times where uh, it's just different from the U.S. There's, there's times of stress and, you know, different struggles. And so our family would work hard, but mom and dad would always Always reward the family by going on a little vacation. You know, after being six months interior, you go out to a little town and take a break. Just good to have a breather, relax, get freshened up, and then you're ready to work again. So it's been it's been fun just kind of getting out here and just kind of taking a little a little vacation. This is the end of Key and I's school break. Um, we're gonna about to pick up college classes again, so uh, just a, a great time to finish up school break and have some fun. We have an exciting day in front of us. Today we're gonna do some cross country skiing as well as tubing on the snow. Never tried before, but sounds like a whole lot of fun. So today we're gonna go about five miles, kind of weave in and out of the woods, take some old um, four wheeling trails, and just have fun. There's for sure gonna be lots of wipeouts.
Back on track. That's for sure. Sorry, Ken. You got a wire over so wildlife doesn't fall in. Wow. We're just following wherever Uncle Dave takes us. Three down. Out here in the wilderness. Here we go. I'm gonna follow Kian down. Wipeout. A couple little wipeouts, but that's a nice track. Ooh. Looky here. Looks like we have maybe some coyote footprints. I'm not even sure. Are these coyote had dog footprints? Could be, yeah. I think fox. So today we got all geared up. There's like a million layers involved with going out in the snow. You can't just walk outside. We have to put our, our woolen socks on, our snow boots, snow pants. Long johns, we got like under like a woolen fleece underneath, big jacket, gloves. It's crazy. You can't just walk outside or else you freeze to death. Already our fingers are starting to get a little bit chilled. But we came out to this beautiful spot. It's called um, Gold Creek. Uh, supposedly at one point there was gold in the creek. Probably still has some today. It's just super pretty. The sides are all frozen up. It's still flowing water, but it's cold enough where it's just turning to ice on the sides. It's just mojo slippery. Anyways, we brought some tubes and they have like a plastic underside. So we just sit in them, it's like a donut. And then the trunk is just gonna pull us along the, the snow and ice. We came up this road and we actually saw a bunch of other people um, doing it. And so we decided we'd go out and buy some tubes and try it for ourselves. And it was a real it. sport. Yeah. It's actually a thing? A lot of people out here do it, yeah. So That's crazy. It's every place up here in the mountains and yeah, we love it. So we have yeah. fun, I mean. We're not, we're not in Florida, we're at Montana, so we do have a lot of snow all the time. And so that being the case, we adapt, adjust, and have fun. Are those yeah, bullet holes? Is that sign? Yeah. Yep. People just shoot at it. Yep. Nice. Nice job, guys. Epic. Turned nice job. That was almost a wipeout. <laughs> I hung on. I had to do it. I was close. It's, a, it's incredible, isn't it? Here's a couple year old Ponderosa. I mean, it could be even 10 years old, but it's still young. And then you just pan over to here and you see even the potential. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, I wonder how many years it took for this guy to grow. Yeah. Seen a lot of change in his lifetime. And, and as, as you and I both know, missionary kid, the first thing you want to do is figure out how to climb it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Creative. We need a little rope or something. <laughs> yeah, you could probably scale up that bark. There you go. Like a little monkey. Dude. <laughs> Seeing something so brand new, like all the snow, it's just amazing. It really snaps you out of, you know, the kind of business of life and the schedule and everything. And this makes you think like, wow, man, we have an awesome God. He created all this. He's so majestic, he's so powerful. It really reminds you of just, yeah, get, let's get back to basics, you know? It reminds you of the true purpose of life, just the kind of basic principles. How, you know, we as people, we're made in God's image but we've sinned and fallen away from him. But God, you know, he's provided a way 
for us to regain that perfect relationship with him. And now, as believers, we're new creations. It's exciting because there's a lot to be thankful for and there's a lot of exciting stuff to do. And so it's good to just um, take time to break out of the schedule, go take some time off, enjoy God's creation, and just remind yourself of what it is to be a follower of Him. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.